Hello, everyone, and welcome to this session on how you can use Triton and Onyx Runtime to deploy your AI models at scale. My name is Mohan Salehi, and I'm from NVIDIA, where I'm the Triton Product Manager, and I'm joined today by Srini Kade from Microsoft. Now, let's jump right in. Triton is an open source inference serving software designed to simplify deploying your AI models in production. It started as an open source project three years ago to address some of the biggest challenges in model deployment. The first challenge is having one solution that can support different types of use cases and input queries, such as the one shown here. The second challenge is around managing the cost of deployment and having a solution that can deploy models in different types of hardware and in different types of deployment environments. Another aspect of managing the cost of inference is to make sure you're utilizing your hardware to the fullest capacity. And unfortunately, we see a lot of organizations underutilizing their CPUs and especially their GPUs when doing model serving. And lastly, as you start to scale up your deployment, a third challenge is being able to have your inference server integrate with a wide variety of ecosystem tools for DevOps and MLOps that are required for container orchestration and to enable you to scale up your deployment. That's why Triton was created to address each of these challenges. It provides a standardized inference platform that supports all your inference workloads through a single API. It can deploy models in both GPU and CPU and in different environments such as in the cloud, in data center, in embedded devices at the edge, on better metal and on virtualized environments. Triton supports real-time online inferencing, offline batch inferencing, it can handle streaming inputs such as audio or speech or video data, and it has a feature to enable ensembling as well. Triton also has features to help maximize hardware utilization on both GPUs and CPUs to not only get better performance, but to also reduce the cost. For example, we have the ability to do concurrent model execution, which is where we run multiple different models or multiple copies in the same model on the same, same system to get better performance. Trident also has the ability to do dynamic batching, where we group together requests on the server side to get better performance. Another benefit of Trident is how it's designed with features to simplify deployment and integrate with your application workflows. The Trident container can be deployed as a scalable microservice on Kubernetes, and we provide Helm charts and examples for easy and fast deployment onto your clusters. Trident is also integrated natively into KF Serving or Kubeflow Serving, which is an open source community project that provides serverless inferencing platform, which is using Trident underneath the hood. Trident also has features for MLOps, such as the ability to do live model updates and dynamically load and unload models without disruptions. Trident also has a solution for being able to optimize your models called the Model Analyzer, which is a tool that can find the most optimal configurations in Trident to maximize performance. And you can find Trident in many common MLOps platforms, including the Microsoft Azure Machine Learning platform. Finally, Trident is designed to be open source and extendable and customizable. So you can integrate your own custom code in uh, Python and C++ in Trident, such as for pre and post processing. You can also add your own custom backends to Trident server and extend and modify the container to remove any components that you don't need. Now let's dive underneath the hood to see how Trident works. On the very left, you'll notice you can have multiple client applications sending requests to Trident at the same time. To make that process seamless, we provide Python and C++ client libraries that give APIs to make it easy for you to communicate with the server. There's two different paths for sending in requests to Triton. The first is to use the standard HTTP REST or gRPC APIs that Triton provides to send in your request. Alternatively, we also have a C API that allows you to directly integrate Triton into your client application as a shared library. This allows you to eliminate the overhead from making an HTTP or gRPC call. For example, you might use the C API to directly integrate Trident into an embedded device. Or if you already have your own inference or deployment platform, which has multiple different components, and you want to integrate Trident purely for the inference serving aspect, then you can use the C API to integrate Trident into your existing stack and not have it to occur any kind of network overhead from calling gRPC or HTTP. Now, as inference requests come into Triton, by default, they're processed sequentially. But if you turn on the dynamic batching feature that Triton provides, then Triton can dynamically group together multiple independent inference requests into one larger batch to run inference on to get better performance. You can also tell Triton how long it should wait in order to dynamically create this preferred batch size. And this allows you to maximize throughput while still staying within your latency targets. Trident will also take care of routing the inference request to the appropriate model in the case that you have multiple models running simultaneously in the server. And each model in Trident has its own dedicated scheduler, which is going to be responsible for maintaining the queue of requests. 
The models themselves are, are pulled from a model repository, and that can be on local file system or on cloud storage. And we also give APIs that allow you to dynamically load and unload models without having to restart the server. So if you want to, in production, you notice you have any kind of uh, degradation in performance or drift, you can remove your models from Triton. You can update them and retrain them and put them back in without disrupting the server. Now the models themselves can be pulled, loaded on CPU and GPU, and Triton relies on the framework backends that it supports, like the one shown here, to actually do the inference execution. And uh, as we'll discuss, uh, Onyx Runtime is natively supported and integrated into Triton as a first-class backend, which can run on both CPU and GPU. Now, once the backend is finished executing the inference request, the results are sent back to the client. And throughout this entire process, Trinan is collecting health and status metrics that can help us when making scaling decisions. So for example, we can collect metrics like GPU utilization and power, latency, throughput, and many more. These metrics that Trinan provides uh, can plug into Prometheus database. And if you're deploying in a Kubernetes environment, for example, you can configure your auto scaler to scrape the metrics that Trinan provides. And if the GPU utilization or the latency, for example, reaches an unacceptable threshold, the auto scaler can know to add another Trident server or add another node to your cluster to balance the workload. The last thing to mention on this slide is that we have a monthly release cadence for Triton. So at the end of every month, we ship a new version. It's available as a Docker container from NGC or the NVIDIA GPU cloud. And it's also available on the open source GitHub repo along with the documentation. Hello everyone, I'm Ashwini Khade. I'm a software developer in Microsoft's AI Frameworks org. And today I'm going to talk about Onyx Runtime backend in Triton server. Here you can see how Triton ORT extends from cloud to edge with high performance execution providers available for almost every scenario. For CPUs, we have Microsoft's default CPU execution provider and OpenVINO. Whereas for GPUs, we have NVIDIA CUDA and TensorRT. Now that we have looked at the Triton ORT ecosystem, let's look at some of the key features which Triton provides and how ORT plugs into the Triton server. Triton server enables concurrent model execution. What this means is it lets you load multiple models or multiple instances of the same model on the same GPU CPU. Each model instance translates to a session in Onyx runtime. Concurrent execution helps maximize GPU utilization, enables better performance, and hence lowers cost of serving. With ORT as the backend, one can choose the best accelerator as an execution provider based on the target hardware. Another key feature of Triton is it enables dynamic patching. With dynamic patching, client can send independent requests and Triton will group these requests into a single batch to increase GPU throughput. In the past couple of months, we've been working to improve the ORT integration in Triton and make sure our customers can get all the ORT and Triton provided features when using ORT backing with Triton. To name a few, we updated ORT to the latest version 1.9. With this, our customers can benefit from all the latest updates and optimizations in ORT. We also added more performance improvements like enabling ragged batching support, enabling IO binding, and TensorRT version update to 8.2. And last but not the least, we enabled configuration options for TensorRT and CUDA execution providers. With this change, our customers can now easily configure precision modes, enable caches, configure GPU memory limits, etc. Here are some of the resource links for both Triton and ORT. Both Triton and ORT are open source and all the code resides in respective GitHub repos. For any questions, I suggest opening an issue in the GitHub repos. Next, Mahan will talk about existing partners who are using Triton ORT in their production scenarios. Thank you. The Triton Onyx Runtime backend is being used by customers in production today for a wide variety of use cases, including computer vision, NLP, recommender systems, and more. This illustrates how both Triton and Onyx Runtime are universal inference solutions agnostic to the type of model architecture and use case. To take one example, Microsoft Office is using Triton and Onyx Runtime backend in production today to power their intelligent grammar checking model, which is running on Microsoft Word. And by using Triton and Onyx Runtime, they're able to get, achieve their 200 millisecond latency budget, process over half a trillion queries per year, and cut down on their costs by 70%. This is just one example of the power of Triton and Onyx Runtime combined together. 
That concludes our presentation. Thank you for joining and please reach out if you have any questions or feedback.